circle today. Not too much on the circle, but a special part of a circle is what I want to introduce you to. So let's start with the whole circle first. Area of a circle, this is on the reference sheet. A reminder, you got three on the reference sheet. This is one of them, pi times the radius squared. And again, a reminder to you, this is on reference sheet. That's on your reference sheet, one of the three. So no need to memorize it. I'm not going to focus on the circle. What I want to focus on is this piece right here. A piece that's formed by two radii and the arc that connects it. All right? Two radii and the arc that connects it. We're going to start calling that a sector. Sector. Sounds pretty powerful, huh? Two radii, and it's got to be an arc that connects it. Not a chord, not a diameter, not anything else. All right? Two radii and the arc that connects it. And yes, you can think of it as what? A piece of pie, a piece of pizza. All right, so next time you're having a slice of pizza and you shove it, start eating it, shoving it down your gullet there, you can think you're eating a sector of the pizza. All right, sector. Uh, quick talk, toppings wise, I'm just plain Jane, cheese. That's how I roll. Please tell me how many of you are the fruit people that throw the pineapple on there? No judging, but okay, who am I kidding? I'm judging. Okay, what else we got? Buffalo chicken. What do you have? Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. That was a popular one last period. Buffalo chicken ranch came up last period. Pepperoni, classic. Sausage. Yep. Anybody go the anchovies? Mushrooms. Broccoli. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Anybody go and take the cheese off? Like my weirdo daughter, I don't like. What are you What's doing? That's, not, that's exactly my conversation with her every single time. But she'll have like slices of cheese on her sandwich and stuff like that. But taking the cheese off, I'm like, what are you doing? Whose kid are you? Disown me. Is anybody that takes the cheese off right away? No. Good. Thank you. You're human, not an animal. All right, anyway, but yeah, that's what you can think of a sector as, all right? Slice of pie, but it's got to be two, or a slice of pizza, two radii and an arc that connects it. I want you to find the area of this region now. That's what we're going to do today, find the area of that sector. Formula for it. First part of the formula is going to sound familiar, I hope. Measure of an area of a sector. Measure of the arc. Measure of the arc over 360. Last unit. Anybody remember we started the same for, a formula off the same way? But it was to find the that's not helping. I don't know what else to do. Length. length of an arc, thank you. Yep, I was done doing the charades here. That's how we started off length of an arc, but we finished it with circumference pi d. But I'm not on the outside of the circle, I'm on the inside. So now we're not going to multiply it by the circumference, we're going to multiply it by the area, pi r squared. And just a couple things to review. Measure of the arc, that's in degrees. If you don't know it, it's okay, because where else can I look? That's always the same measure. Measure of the arc and what other measure? Always the same exact degree measure. Central angle, all right? So remember, if I don't have the measure of the arc, I look at the central angle and they're always the same. All right, so area of a sector, all good? All right, that's it. I'm done with, hey, I'm done with formulas. I'm not going to give you any new formulas the rest of the unit, so you guys have all, the, all of them you need. All right, here we go. All right, find the area of this sector. Radius of 8, central angle of 60. Do I need a diagram? No, but... You guys are newbies to this uh, sector business, so I want to show you what we're dealing with. So I got a radius of eight. I make another radius. How long is it? Also eight, because that's how I got to form a sector, right? Eight, and the central angle is 60 degrees right there, coming from the center. I'm 0 for 4 here, yep, and 0 for 5. Let's uh, find that area now. This is your sector you're finding the area of right here. I, I didn't learn the color in the lines. All right, let's go to you guys now. Uh, measure of the arc. That's how I'm going to start the formula. Measure of the arc for a sector. 
What's the measure of this arc right here, Charlie? 60 over 360 times the area of the circle, pi. I know it's simple, but just want to make sure you're following along here. Radius length here, Matt, eight squared. And I will fully admit something here, and I wish you guys would have told me earlier on in the year. Notice all my answers are in terms of pi. I did not realize until last week that your calculator leaves it in terms of pi. Did you know that as well? Nobody wanted to fill me in. I always used to say, when I showed this to you, we first came across the directions, leave your answer in terms of pi. I go nuts and be like, hey, leave the pi out of your answer, just multiply the rest in your calculator. And then some of my students last week told me, uh, well, it does it for you. Over 360 times, you can put the pi right in there, times eight squared, and it does it for you. This thing is ridiculous. Does it like, I'm asking kids, it does it blow your nose for you too and wipes your mouth when, when you eat? Because like, it seems like it does everything. 32 pi over three. There we go. So I guess you can put the pie in now. All right, next up, uh, we got four students who think they're hot stuff here. Uh, they're going to find the, the area of sector COB, and four of them gave uh, their solutions, but two are right, two are wrong. I want to know which two are the correct ones. Before we do anything, let's just make sure we know where circle COB is, because I didn't highlight anything here. COB. No. No. COB, no, radii and an arc, two radii and an arc. There's the sector we're trying to find the area of. What I want to do first before I get to the four students, let's make up a period five formula right now. All right, just us, period five formula. What's the arc measure? COB, what's my arc measure up here? Choom, choom. Olivia and uh, one man gang over here today. Haley, what's my uh 108. Thank you. 108. Over 360 times. Now I don't have a radius length, but can you tell me a radius I could plug in if I knew the length? Give me a radius on this diagram I could use if I knew the length. Charlie, back to you. Just the name of one. OC. So I could do pi times OC squared. Some of you may, if I called on you, you might have given me OB squared. And one more, one, another person may have given me OA squared. So these are all valid formulas on how to find sector A, COB. All right, let's go to these kids. Amy. Ooh, she used three tenths. We use 108 over 360, automatically wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take a look, take a look. We used 108 over 360. Oh, everybody see that is three tenths. She just used the reduced answer. So, okay there, we're okay there. Let's go to the rest of her formula. Uh, pi, okay, BC, what's BC in that diagram? You know that, what's BC in this diagram? Ooh, kissing you, what's the BC? That's a chord. We should use a radius squared. So, Amy, embarrassing, add honors math. Next up, Beth. Bethany. Elizabeth. Who knows? Who knows? Just could be Beth as well. Let's take a look. 108 over 360. Check. Pi. Check. Oh, she used our formula. You can stay. You're worthy enough. Next up, Carl. Carlton. Carlos. Anyway, moving on, three tenths, we're good there. We already know that reduces. Pi, oh, oh, did something we didn't do, but is it okay? Took one half of AB. What's AB in this diagram? AB in this diagram, there you go, Zoe. That's a diameter, you take half of the diameter, I'm gonna get a radius. So this, Carl, you can stay. And then Dex, without a doubt, that's Dexter, without a doubt, right? Nobody calls themselves Dex. And that's just it. Dexter, definitely. Or is there any other version I'm missing? Nope. Okay. 108 over 360. Good. Pi. All right. Now we get in a little controversy here. Is that okay? Well, according to the formula, what should you be squaring? 
the radius. Our boy Dex here, squaring the diameter. Oh, well, well, he took one half. No, he's not taking a half of it. It's not inside the parentheses like Carl's was. You have to square the radius, not the diameter. Dex, eliminated. So the only ones we're going with, Beth and Carl. Congratulations. All good before we up it one more. Get to the highest level we can, which is, hey, guys, I don't want you to find the area of the sector. I'm going to give it to you. You find another piece of the formula now. All right, I'm going to tell you what the sector area is. I want another piece of that formula. So we got 12 pi. That's the area of this shaded sector, AOC. 12 pi, radius 6 inches, already on there for me. Find angle, AOC. I've given you the sector formula. So where am I going to plug that 12 pi in right away? Where's that 12 pi going? Zoe, back to you. Yeah, in for A into the formula, 12 pi. There it is. Equals. Now, I have a problem. Maybe some of you guys can help me. The formula does not put central, does not have central angle in it. But it does have what, which is always equal to the central angle. You want to find angle AOC, it's going to be the same as what up here, which is in the formula. Same as angle AOC. Talk to me here. Gianna, what's the same as angle AOC? Arc AC, which is part of the formula, and I can find it. All right, so I find arc AC, you got angle AOC. I'm going to put an X there because that's what we're trying to find is the arc. Over 360, I don't need to ask anybody. It's staring you right in the face. A radius of 6 squared. All right, any issues with the substitution before uh, I help you solve it? Okay, let's talk algebra now. Away from the geometry. Let's talk a little algebra. I don't care if we do this right now or if we do this at the very end. We're going to have to divide both sides by what, and they're just going to cancel each other out anyway. What's on both sides that are going to cancel each other out by division? The pies. So why don't we just get rid of it so this looks a little bit prettier now? Because we can do it now. We can do it the last step. It's going to happen eventually. So let's just rewrite it without the pi so it's a little easier to look at. And let's make that 6 squared 36. All right, the next step algebraically, you got two options right now. You can get rid of the 360 or you can get rid of the 36. You have two options right now. I don't care which way you go. Just pick way, pick one way right now for the class to go. What do you want to get rid of here first? I'm not going to fall into it again. Oh, there we go. Josh, what do you want to do? Um, divide, or, uh, multiply by 360. Okay, that's fine. We could have also divided by 36 if you wanted to. All right, we'll multiply by 360. So I get x, oh, nope, sorry, we get 36x. We got rid of the 360. Whew, over here, 4320, right? From third period, 4320, yeah. What? It's 36x, one job. There we go, 36x. 4320, got it. All right, you guys know what's up next. Divide both sides by 36. How many degrees in the arc, which means how many degrees in angle AOC. When you have it, let me know. Oh, Josh, back to you. Uh, X equals 120. It does. Great work. Whew. Any questions solving that algebraically? Tonight, just a warning. Tonight, you're going to have to do this again on your homework. But it won't be 12 pi. It will be something like just 12. So you are going to have to divide the pi out as part of this process. Okay, the pi's won't cancel each other out because the area is not in terms of pi tonight on your homework. So just a heads up here. Remember this problem. And coming to my one of my favorite parts of this unit, we have all these figures now. We know the area formula. We will know the area formula for. I'm going to take two, smash them together. What's the total area? That's what we're doing here. I call this a patio because I guess I needed to relate it to the real world. But everyone see I have two figures smashed them together. Let's find the total area. Now. I don't know. Is it, I, I don't know how it's a patio. It says to the patio below. I, let's see. How could this be a patio? Oh, this would maybe be the, uh, like, the you got a little deck, right? little deck coming out. And maybe this is, you know, the, win the sliding glass windows maybe going into the backyard. And you step out to the deck, 
deck. It's got a little. What? It's got yeah. a little what? Could be the hot tub. I don't know. Yeah. A semicircle hot tub. <laughs> hey, I've seen the crazy ones nowadays, you know. You've seen a semicircle hot tub. Um, I might right here in a second. <laughs> And you want to call me out here. Here we go. Semi-circle hot tubs. Hmm. Just saying. That's a part of your deck. Why not? Because <laughs> it's a part of the pool. <laughs> hmm. It can be done. Okay, it can be done. I may not have any right here, but it can be done. Looks pretty semi-circle right there, looks semi-circle. Huh? There you go. Well, we could turn this bad boy around right here. And then the rest of the deck could be the trapezoid. There you go, it could happen. All right. Okay, there's somewhere I didn't want to go. Where is it? Hmm. Okay. I, there's a bazillion pictures. Okay, I'm done. I'm going down a deep hole. Can't get out. There you go. Could be a patio. All right. No. Nope. I'm not going to fill it with water, but there you go. There it is. Good, and we got you know, some bubbles popping out there. There we go, because it's a hot tub. Bubbles, there's a little hose that goes in there, whatever. All right, here we go. Okay. I've added enough detail to this diagram. All right, we smashed two figures together. We've already really talked about these figures. Trapezoid. And some of you aren't going to like the way I do these problems because I show too much work and it's too much uh, energy for some of you. But I always write, write out in words what the diagram consists of. Because now I just plug in the formula. Oh, trapezoid. What's the formula? One half height, B1 plus B2, plus, oh, a circle with keeping the one half. My fear is if you don't write the actual word down, you might forget that it's a half. Keep bringing the half down, pi r squared. Do I need to see this for full credit? No, it is not mandatory that or required that I see this. This is just for teaching purposes for you guys. All right, go to the trapezoid. Somebody take care of the trapezoid here for me. Ooh, trapezoid, who's up on the trapezoid? Trapezoid, Thomas, here you go. What's the uh, height of the trapezoid? Four. Four, how about the two base lengths? Ten, Ten and seven, so make sure we add those together. And let's head over to the half circle, the semicircle. What's the radius length up here? Radius length, got to do a quick calculation. Will, radius length, half a 10, good. Five squared. And we're going to round it to the nearest 10. Make sure we're good with rounding. What do we got here? Boom. Oh, Thomas, back to you. Back and forth between you two. When you're ready. Good. And just another reminder because uh, we haven't had it yet today, but units on every answer now. Square feet. Square feet. Questions, comments, any concerns before we get our, to our next mashup? All right, let's take a look at this one. See, this is like, it's like it's this period in particular. I haven't seen this darn thing all day until now. And it has to be this period. It just like ruin your day. It does. It does. It really does. Like we were on the last question. Everything was going smooth. And now this thing pops up. It's because you tried to tell us that was a death. You're a pad. Yeah, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's karma. It's all right. I 
don't even care now. Sixteen. Swing. Got everything. All right, curls. Slide right. Shatter. Genie. Pinwheel. Star. White. Curtains. Slide left. Drop. Cubes. Fades. Book. Spin. Clock. Flip. Swing. Nobody's going to go for the swing after I made this Picasso up here. <laughs> Nobody. All right. Looks like it's Shatter. Or the Promethean person. Last slide. Here you go. Shatter. Yep. Wipe. 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 Was that you, Will? Yep. There you go. One wipe. All right. Going back. Here's another mashup. Let me know what's what does this uh, figure consist of? This is a what and a what up here. Give me one figure here. Uh, Thomas, back to you. What's one figure up here? Triangle. Tri triangle. Oh, okay. Well, can you put all four together and make a? It's up in the direction. Thank you. It is a rhombus. Plus, what's surrounding the rhombus now? What is surrounding the rhombus, Charlie? No radii there. Those are just what type of circles? Half circles. half circles. That's it. And I got three of them, right? So instead of doing this, three half circles, I'll just say I have one and a half full circles. Everyone's all right with that? It's just one less number involved. All right, area of a rhombus. I don't have time to, for you guys to go back and look. One half times the diagonal lengths. Never congruent, never congruent, plus one half, and this is the formula we've been using today, pi r squared for your circles. A little bit more work to get to one of these values than the last problem. Uh, can we start with the diagonals? Because I believe those are given to you. What are my diagonal lengths here? Oh, the other member? Nope. Josh, diagonal lengths? Uh, 24 and 10. 24 and 10. Plus one half. All right, now let's talk about the radius of one of these half circles. You will notice that this is not the radius. That's the diameter, which is also the side of the rhombus. So I need your help finding that side because that is not given. What properties of a rhombus would help here from Friday? We went over three properties of a rhombus. Two of them are going to help me here. To help me find that side length. Uh, Gianna, one property we talked about that may help. All sides congruent, so it does not matter which side I find. All right, I probably don't want to find that side because that doesn't have a half circle attached, but it wouldn't matter anyway. All right, so I can have all sides congruent. You find any of these sides, you're going to get the diameter. Another property that's going to help me out. Ooh. Doyle? Diagonals bisect. So I got 24 changes into 12 and 12 here, and 10 changes into 5 and 5. We're almost there. I guess we'll use all three properties. One more left. That's going to help me find that missing side. Charlie, back to you. Um, 
Diagonal is perpendicular. Why do I need to know that fact? Now I can use pi fact because I know it's a right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. So what is my diameter or the side of the rhombus? Both the same. When you have that value, let me know. Whew, Matt, when you have it, let me know. Thirteen, good. I know it's the mind says, "Oh, I just found something. Let me plug it in." But I don't need thirteen for the radius. That's the diameter. What am I going to need for the formula instead of thirteen? Oh, look at that, thirteen. Kissing you. Too late. Oh, six point five. Six point five. Yeah. Don't even start trying to persuade me that that should have counted either. Everyone see the directions? Leave your answer in terms of pi. It's not the prettiest to look at, but your calculator will leave it in terms of pi, right? Uh, what was it again here? One half times 24 times 10 plus pi r squared. Now, I just want to show you guys that that's not the answer. What did I do? No, I should have put the one half in there. Nope, one half. Nope, so I forgot the 1.5. So times one is 319. Yeah. Is that my answer? No. No, it's not. What did I forget? One half, 24 times 10 times point five. I Okay, never, never. I'm just going to start over. How about that? I'm embarrassing myself as I go. Times 24 times 10 plus 1.5 pi. 6.5 squared, 319 and change. Yep. All right. Now this is an instance where you don't think it left it in terms of pi, but it did. All you have to do is go up and highlight the answer and then it's back in terms of pi. So sometimes like at the first problem we did, it'll automatically give you in terms of pi. Sometimes it won't, but you just got to go back up and highlight it. So not the prettiest, 507 pi. I know I'm not even a fan of this version, but uh, it's correct plus 960 divided by eight. No units, okay, we're good. All right.